Hey guys, what's happening? Today we are going to take a look at this board you see right here. And it is a bi-directional level shifter, okay? Let's see if we can get her to focus. There we go. So this is the high side that takes your five volt signals. And this is the low side for the low voltage signals. And you see we have resistors and some MOSFETs. These are KSA 1298s. And the way this works is when we are going, let me put this down here. When we are going from five volt to 3.3 volts, the two resistors come into play and it behaves as a voltage divider and it knocks the voltage down to 66% so 66% of 5 volts is 3.3 volts however you cannot voltage divide up so that is where uh, this PNP epitaxel transistor comes in and it knocks the voltage up so what I've got mocked up here is like a little sample circuit and let me finish hooking it up here so we can see I'll plug my ground in there and I'm gonna put a 3.3 uh, volt jam into that all right we will bring in the meter and I'm going to attach the ground lead right here so that all of our grounds are connected and then I will wield the pointy end myself so here is the 5 volts coming out from the Arduino and if we measure it here oh hell you can't see the meter alright that's better so here's the 5 volts coming out from the Arduino this red wire and I'm just using the Arduino as a power supply here. If we measure it here before the level shifter, you see we have 4.96 volts, which is close enough to 5. And the same as we measure it going in. But if we come down here and we measure on the outside, we get 3.29. So you see it basically just knocks it down. Now if we go the other way, this red wire is my 3.3 volt signal coming in here to this end. I'm going to get a good connection on it here. There you go, 3.3 volts going in. And on the out, we have 5 volts. So we are bi directionally shifting. Whatever you put into the high side of 5 volts comes out the low side at 3.3 volts and vice versa whatever we put into the low side comes out the high side and this is a pretty useful device we're going to be using it in an upcoming video but before we got to that video I just wanted to make it a point to show you this now I'm going to pop a picture up on the screen right about here giving you a more close-up look at this so that you can actually see what I'm pointing at now this is a four channel, so we have channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. Now on both sides, the high side and the low side, we have to give it five, whoops, <laughs> I broke my pointer. We have to give it five volts and ground on the high side and 3.3 volts and ground on the low side. So it has to have a voltage reference on both sides to work from. All right, that's my quick introduction to level shifters. And the reason that we need an animal such as this, I'm looking around, okay, here it is. I've got a video coming up where we are going to use one of these guys, which is the RF69HCW packet radio. And the thing about it is, it's only a 3.3 volt device. So, 
on the one side I will use it with this feather which is a 3.3 volt device and on the other side I'm going to use it with the level shifter and the nano so I wanted to explain to you guys first how the level shifter works so you understood it when you see that upcoming video all right well, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share. And I'll see you next time.